Hey, Shalom, Sister Kate here. Haven't talked to you guys in a while. Shalom, crew members. I hope you're continuing to watch everything that's happening and you're continuing to get yourselves ready. And for subscribers and saints of the Most High, um, saints, you need to be listening to the Father and praying really hard for the Ruach to show you the direction you're going to be going in. Um, and YouTube subscribers, dude, you know, you can see the writing on the wall here, can't you? So, um, I basically said in the community page that the, the Supreme Court would decide the outcome of this election, and they basically have. The fact that they refused to hear the case um, based on whatever procedural thing was going on there is kind of batting it back to the states, and the states seem to be saying, well, we don't care if something weird happened in our district or nothing weird happened in our district, and they're just going ahead with the electoral vote, and so on. Um, so it's time to get your big boy pants on, uh, and big girl pants on, because if nothing happens in the court system to change it, Biden will be the president, and so will Kamala Harris be the vice president. And they have very liberal agendas. So the culture, the... the um, the way of life for Americans is going to change drastically because under Trump, he had the um, economy humming along. He had unemployment at the lowest rate ever, and people were generally okay. And the left was fussing and fussing the whole time he was in office because they didn't want stability and, and a good way of life for everybody in the States. They just wanted to uh, create chaos, and they did. That's what those riots and the looting and the destruction and the the cities like uh, Seattle and Portland just being destroyed um, and people fleeing those cities. These are real things happening. You can see them on the news. When you can't have a business in your city, your city starts to fall apart because no one is getting any money and no one is getting the things that they need, like the clothes and the, the uh, groceries and their, you know, the things that they want. And so they're going to leave. People, having a wasteland as a city is no way to get your population to grow. Let me just put it that way. So what is next for the saints? What is next for people of faith and people who like intact family units and people who like economic and emotional and spiritual stability. Well, that's going to change for us because the people in power, look at that. My, my tripod is in horrible shape. I just need to get another one. And it's, of course, it's going to choose right now to start acting up because we're talking about future events and, uh, and what you need to be doing and telling you, the forces of instability want everybody in the same misery that they have. And it, we're seeing this. It's a result. It's a result of the 1960s. And many of you were not born. You weren't born for like 30, 40, 50. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't understand what has been happening in our country. You only hear it from us old people who were there and have seen the results of it as time has gone by. Uh, the the women's liberation and women saying, oh, no, I can have a career and I, you know, I need to be important too and such and such is basically the downfall of the American family unit. And then there was a whole uh, cultural thing about TV and movies and, tele and uh, um, books and so on saying that Families where the mom worked could be normal and everything would be fine and she wouldn't be overstressed out and, and the marriages would be fine. And it and they they that was propaganda, too. That was something that was, oh, yeah, this is going to work. Very few families find that that worked. Most families where the mother suddenly becomes someone who wants to earn money and um, is trying to usurp the head of the house, which is the father, those families split apart. The, the couples get divorced. The children are shown that a, a partnership like that can't work. And so they're unhappy. And when they grow up, they have a really hard time finding a stable relationship. And they create, you know, children born out of wedlock who have instability. And suddenly the whole thing 
becomes instead of a nice stable society, it's a it's a very volatile society. And that's who we're seeing take over now. And one of the evidences for that is I was on Twitter last night, and you know, I'm not there because I think Twitter has any merit. I'm there to see what's happening there. Not a single political oh Trump sucks. Uh, you know, all the negative political, and there were millions, I'm telling you, I, I mentioned it in live streams and everything, millions of nasty, critical comments about Trump all the way up to the election. It was all part of the disinformation and instability campaign. And it's now quieted. They got their goal taken care of. And so there's nothing. Beep crickets in there about oh Biden sucks and Kamala sucks and they've got horrible records and they're they're uh they're extremists and they're they're you know none of that there's none of that negative press going on on social media right now which shows you it's clear evidence of it was all a campaign to bring Trump down to cause instability and they've been successful it's that whole year group it's that whole set of people that I've talked about, whose families didn't do well, who didn't have the stability, who grew up and decided. I mean, I remember, I, I just saw a, some sort of article about a woman who, who was trying specifically. You know, I came into this political arena to upset, you know, the dominant white, white male culture. And she's gone from office to office, governmental offices, trying to climb her way up. And now she's a Senate or a Congress um, uh, candidate running for in some state and she's not the only one there's several of them but she she purposefully said like I'm here to throw this stuff down okay so what does that mean for us <clears throat> it means we need to be ready to create our own stability to um, possibly have to be independent from the system or at least much more self-sufficient so that we can continue our stable way of life while the world's way of life just gets crazier and crazier and crazier. And I'm, this is just going to segue with all those other channels that you guys have been watching, what PJ says and TJ says and uh, Prepared Homestead and um, Following Yeshua. You are going to need to be set apart. Set apart means you're different, means you're not following what the sheep are following. And in this, not biblical sheep, but the matting crowd, as they head towards the cliff and plunge off, you need the one, be the one who turns around and says, no, no, that's a cliff. I'm not going over that. I'm going this way. Now, I can't help you if you're not a believer in God. If you don't have faith, I'm not sure what, what guidelines you're using to, um, to keep your life in order, what moral structure you have. But if you're a believer, then you have to depend on the Father because his following him is what it, the promise is a peaceful and quiet life. It's going to be harder to do that in the cities. That's why you've heard pastors for years now saying, come out, come out, get away from those cities because the cities are centers where chaos can happen easier and it's harder for you to support yourself. We've seen that, again, in the recent events. So coming out, and, and you've also, all y'all have heard these, these um, brothers and sisters and pastors telling you, the time is short, the time is short. Kim over at this old homestead did a video on it. Following Yeshua did a video on it. Pastor's done a video on it. Even Pastor Dow has done videos on it. These, all these brethren feeling that in their spirit. And I want to let you guys know, um, last week, and you know, I don't say this very often. I really don't. I say watch, learn, look at history, make wise decisions. Right around when we found out I also had the virus, the day before, the day before they gave me my results, I had a, I had a movement in my spirit that basically was like tilting, like, like things are tilting. A, a big change and so I thought okay father I will you know I will mark that down and then the next day I got my results but soon after that Biden Biden's the electoral college happened so stick to stability do not get caught up in the craziness 
and resist as much as you can the instability, the uncleanness, the immorality. Resist that and stay on the straight and narrow path with the Father. I hope this blesses you all. Thank you so much for all the kind words, the gifts, the prayers that you have had for Pastor and I in the last little while. And I'm going to do a live stream soon too. All right. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bless you. Look at, look at, what is this beautiful behind us? Yeah. Shalom.